Hey, this is Gary Baird with SellerEssentials.com. In this video, I wanted to talk about RevSeller, uh, one of my favorite tools that I use every day, whether you're sourcing uh, online arbitrage, whether you're doing wholesale, whether you're looking to do a private label product, you can use RevSeller to help you do that. It's most helpful to me in my wholesale and, and on online arbitrage endeavors, but it's certainly use, you know, able to be used for other models as well. So I just want to dive in kind of and talk about what it does and why I like it so much. Uh, we actually started testing it for them when they launched it in beta mode and we gave a lot of feedback amongst other people and uh, they were really, really responsive as far as taking that feedback and, and adding those features to the tool. Very, very nice tool, great people behind it. So um, I highly recommend this tool. It's $97 a month, I'm sorry, $97 a year. Uh, for this tool, it's well worth the what eight bucks or whatever that comes to a month to have this functionality at my fingertips. It probably saves me half an hour every day, um, and I'll show you why here right now. So the main things that it did at the beginning was it told you the rank of a product and the category, and it gave you the ability to do the calculation. So if I could pick this up for five bucks somewhere. Um, I would make $3.25, it calculates it here, and I have it set so it calculates it both sides simultaneously. You can see I'd lose money, merchant fulfilling, I would make $3.25 as an FBA offer. It tells me my ROI, tells me my margin, and if I hover over this little I, it gives me the full breakdown of all of the fees that Amazon deducts. Also started out with these menu items, had camel, 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 um, a place to give feedback, which we did frequently, and they responded well. Um, place for the Amazon calculator, which you really don't need, um, but they put it up there. Reviews, we use this a lot, especially with products that don't have um, a lot of review, or sorry, that don't have um, a, a main rank. They have a sub rank only. So we use this to kind of judge whether or not a product has sold recently by whether or not it's had recent reviews. So we click the most recent. Imagine this didn't have a main rank, even though it does. Um, you could quickly go through here and see how many October reviews. You can see it regularly gets reviewed here in October. So this is a product that sells very quickly, which you could you would assume by its really strong rank here. Um, the other things that it has now that it didn't have before um, are this little side box, which has the parent ASIN. If you have an a, listing where they have multiple ASINs, parent and child relationships. Uh, it'll tell you the parent, and then you'll also be able to show you how to get the, the children, which is a very nice feature when you're listing stuff or you're trying to find a specific size. Um, tells you the dimensions that Amazon assigns to this, large, standard, small, oversized, etc. Tells you the weight and the product dimensions, especially if you're doing online arbitrage or wholesale. Uh, you don't know what the product looks like. You might be able to find it on the website. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. But it's nice to know how much an item is going to weigh and what the shipping weight is and then how big the item is. I've ordered many things and thought they were gonna come in a small package and they've come in this huge package and vice versa too. So it's nice to know um, what, it, what it is you're gonna be getting. Um, also gives you the model number right here, which is a cool feature. So you can search quickly. I can just do a right click and search Google for that model number and see what comes up. If I do my shopping, I've had some internet issues today, but looks like, there we go. So it immediately found it just by the model number and I can see it's sold at 50 different stores. And I'm not worried about giving this product away because it's not likely that you're gonna be making any money on it unless you can get it dirt cheap. So, um, but anyway, that's a nice feature because it allows you to search Google very quickly um, with the model number. And you can also search Google up here or Amazon for other listings that are similar, or eBay to find maybe some sources for the for the product. Um, so there's some nice features. That's one thing they've added. The other thing they've added is up here. Um, it's the 90-day average that gives you the 90-day third-party price average, the 90-day Amazon price average, and the 90-day average rank, which is really what we should be using when we're analyzing data. Um, just did a video recently about sales velocity and how you can use our, our sales velocity chart at SellerEssentials.com to, to get gauge about how many sales a given rank will sell in a month. So I would highly recommend using that and using the 90-day average rank. In this case, they're very close because it's such a well-ranked product, but 
in some cases, you'll see an average rank of 300,000 and the today's rank might be 20,000. Um, so you, you want to be very careful analyzing products like that. Um, before I get into the latest feature, I want to go down here. Oh, it also tells you this top percent. So this is a top 0.01% of its category, which is kind of cool. Uh, the other feature that it has that I just realized it won't have on here because I'm just going to look up some generic socks here. Um, because it has this cool feature when you have variations like this one does here. And you can see it's got black and white and it's got all these different sizes. Um, you have this variation viewer button that they've added a while ago. It also gives the parent ASIN down here. And you can click the variation viewer and it will give you a ton of information. And they've, they've improved this, uh, again, based on our suggestions as well. One of the nice things they do um, is they give you this child ASIN. So you can pick this up when you're listing on Inventory Lab or Scan Power or whatever you're listing on. Um, you can easily come in here, look at the size that you have on your product, and pull the exact sub child ASIN here. Uh, it also gives you, lets you search by color. So you can just look at the black ones, look, just look at the white ones. It lets you look at the ones that are in stock or out of stock. There's some listings where there'll be 500 listings and 350 will be out of stock. It's very nice to know the ones that are out of stock because then you can shop for those specifically when you find the product online. Um, gives you the price, and this price is kind of like how Keepa used to show you. Well, it's hard to see here, but this is the Amazon price, so it's an accurate price. But Keepa will show you... Um, the blue line only gave you the price without shipping. That's kind of what this does, so you have to be careful. This might be a little bit off because they only can report what Amazon gives them. So this might be eighteen thirty-six plus five or six dollars shipping. So never assume that this is the absolute low price. If you're interested in buying something, check that out. It tells you how many offers there are, um, and that's that. Sometimes it does the rank and uh, number of reviews. You can sort by rank and see which ones are selling best. And sometimes it gives you reviews. It says reviews are in beta um, if there's any verified purchase reviews since June of 2016. So maybe there aren't any reviews that recent. But if there is a, uh, a review listed, it'll show you how many each size, each parent and child, um, or each child variation received. So very helpful in evaluating which ones are probably selling best. If you see all the black socks with all the reviews and then there's one or two for the white, it might be an indication that the black socks sell better on this listing for some reason. Maybe it's because they're priced better. Maybe it's because people just like those better. So either way, it's really good information to have. So the Variation Viewer is a very nice tool. Uh, you can export it, actually, if you, if you want to. I've never done that as a CSV file uh, for further analysis. But the absolute uh, coolest feature they've just added, um, big, big news with restricted brands, right? One of our most visited pages on our website is our Amazon restricted brands list because people are freaking out. There's tons and tons of brands. These are just the new restricted brands that we know of. And there's probably others that are in the pipeline that have to be added still. Um, I know Samsonite was just added um, the other day. I don't know if it's up here yet, but and down here it's alphabetical, so you can actually see everything. You know, if you're looking for a specific brand, you can quickly go and see if it's restricted in general or if it's just restricted for you. Um, but that list is really handy if you want to uh, check that out while you're shopping. It's nice to have that pulled up. But um, so if you don't buy Revseller, especially, that could be a really handy tool. Um, so what it does when you are able to buy something, let me go back to the main page here. If you're able to buy something and sell it it will tell you um, up here in the upper right hand corner it's a little green letters because I can sell it so that's a go uh, sell yours and it tells me I can sell it in new condition so that's a nice nice feature I don't have to go and try to add a product on the Amazon add a product page I don't have to go and look at the list every time um, but it's a nice tool that tells you that immediately. And here's a product, this brand, I don't know if you're aware, but Farberware is not restricted, which is really strange because it's kind of a not a really high-end brand or anything, but they must be brand registered, so they have become restricted. And I cannot sell it, and it tells me that up here. Need approval, new, and it's in red, so it tells me I can't. And you can click on this and get more details if you want. If you want, it'll take you right to this page. It'll tell you 
what the listing limitations are, and it'll give you a link to request approval for it. So sometimes the restrictions are ASIN restrictions. I came across a Disney product today that I was restricted on just for that ASIN. I'm not restricted on Disney in general, but that ASIN I was. So very strange, but Amazon can be strange sometimes. So great tool. I just wanted to share that with you and show you all the things that it did. Um, I don't think I missed anything, but if you have any questions about it or you know want to talk about it further, please reach out to my, to me or Greg Purdy or Jeremy Bell, and uh, we'll be happy to answer any of those questions. So if you want to subscribe to these videos, at the bottom right, you'll see our logo. Click on that, and you'll be able to subscribe to the video channel and get access as soon as the videos are released. Um, if you want more tips, tools, and resources, be sure to check out Amazon or uh, SellerEssentials.com. We have an Amazon page there that has tons of resources, tons of courses and, and tools and articles and videos and, and tools like the Amazon Restricted Brands page, the prep page. Uh, there's all kinds of information there that's great for sellers. So we want to make your lives easier and more efficient and more profitable. So hopefully this video helped. Um, have a good day. We'll post the links in the comments section.